Today we are taking a look at the difference in image quality of a standard camera versus a welding camera. In this first test, we have a cell phone camera using some neutral density filters to try and filter out some of the bright light. First problem we can see is that the flashing lights from the MIG process create a strobing effect on the camera image. Secondly, we cannot see through all this bright light created by the welding. In the second MIG test, we are now using a welding shade to see if that helps. As you can see, the image is now very dark, and even then, you cannot see exactly what's going on with the weld. Now, using a welding camera, we can see what's happening. We can see the melt pool, and even the bead hardening as it works its way around. The tip of the wire is now visible, and you can even see the droplet transfer. Here's a side-by-side -side view of the MIG process captured at the same time. Now we will try the same tests, but with the TIG process. Same as with the MIG test, even with adding darkening filters, we cannot see what's going on around the weld, making this not very useful for quality inspection or even as a learning tool. Now we are trying a cell phone camera through a welding helmet. This is not any better than using a shade or ND filters for seeing past the arc. Here is a test with a shade for comparison. This video is being captured with a welding camera from the same process previously shown and as you can see it is a night and day difference when using a welding camera versus a standard camera even with filters applied. You can see everything, including the melt pool, bead hardening, tungsten, and parent material. Again, as a side-by-side -side of the same process, being captured simultaneously from a cell phone camera and a welding camera.